Welcome to another video. So today we're going to talk about three things that you need to do in order to get fit. And it's just these three things. Actually, you can get away with just two of them if you want. Okay, so obviously the first one is going to be you're going to need to train. Go to the gym. But you don't need to, actually. There's a lot of people that can uh, get away with uh, uh, skipping this one. All right, so let's talk about the other two instead. Okay, so the other two on this list <clears throat> is, uh, first one is, you're going to have to go to the supermarket every day. And the second one is, you're going to have to cook your own food. That's it. If you go to the supermarket every day and you cook your own food, you will lose weight and you will get in shape, okay? Now, let's talk about going to the supermarket every day. Why should you go to the supermarket every day? Why do I recommend this? It's because you need to have a fresh supply of ingredients to cook with on a daily basis, okay? Forget Costco, forget bulk shopping, okay? Those are habits of fat people, okay? If you want to lose weight, what you're going to do is you're going to find a supermarket that's nearby. You're going to walk there, okay? Wherever you are in the world. I've, you know, I've lived in so many other countries where I have had access to a local su supermarket you know, just by walking there on foot, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to bring two grocery bags, okay? So you're going to go to the supermarket every day and you're going to leave with two grocery bags full of groceries, okay? Fresh ingredients, such as vegetables, fish, chicken, meats, whatever is on the plate for that day, okay? You're gonna make a habit of cooking that food every day on a daily basis, okay? Meal preps, yeah, you could get away with that. It's, it's not so, you know, efficient in my opinion when it comes to losing weight i mean that's more for more towards like bodybuilders and people who want to bulk up i don't think, i don't think that's your goal you know so so skip the car you don't need to drive to the local supermarket if you're driving that means it's too far from where you live but exceptions are you know if you live in north america maybe you know you you might need a car okay so but preferably you know, ride a bike or just walk to the local supermarket or find our closer supermarket, okay? Now, what if you have a family, okay? Well, in this case, each family member is going to carry or bring with them two grocery bags as well. And instead of a shopping cart, you're just going to carry a basket. I know shopping carts are easy, they're convenient, but they are a temptation to fill up, okay? A lot of people fill up shopping carts and they bulk buy, okay? So no more Costco Forget about bulk buying anymore. I don't shop at Costco. I never, I never shop at Costco. It's, it's, it's just so, it's such a hassle, especially when you don't have a car. And uh, yeah, Costco is a habit for fat people. When you're in the supermarket, you're going to carry a basket. A basket, why? Because a basket tells you how much food you can carry on your own or leave the store with. Okay, shopping cart, you don't know how much you're going to end up with at the end. Okay, so... I always enter the soap, my supermarket with a basket in hand, walk around, and I start filling up the basket, okay? When the basket's full, that's it. That's it for today, okay? That's all I can carry out with me. I load up my food, my two grocery bags, go home, and I start cooking. And that's what I do. And uh, what I prepare, I'll, I'll leave for another video, but make this a habit, first of all ingrain this into your routine walk to the local supermarket bring two grocery bags enter the local supermarket grab the nearest basket walk around the store with this basket and fill it up okay once the basket's full you leave the supermarket with two grocery bags full of groceries you walk back home and then you start cooking the most important thing that i left out in this equation is that you're never going to eat out ever again, okay? You're not going to eat in restaurants. You're not going to order takeout. You're not going to go to fast food places. You're not going to stop by the local convenience store. None of that, okay? You're, you're putting your hands, your health, in someone else's hands. And usually their hands are dirty. 
Believe me, I've worked in the restaurant industry for years when I was a kid. I've worked in five star restaurants, all the way down to like you know, fast food restaurants. I've seen the hygiene that goes on in those kitchens. I know what, who's handling the foods. If you've worked in the restaurant, you know what I'm talking about. Most of the people, or there's at least one chef or cook that smokes, okay? Or doesn't wash their hand properly, or has bad hygiene, or somebody you would not expect or would not want to be touching your food. You have no control over the amount of ingredients they use or the type of ingredients they use. Okay, they could be using really cheap oils. They can be loading the food with too much sugar, like just piling on sugar and sugar, sugar, too much sugar. Or they're just using ingredients that, you know, are just counterproductive. Too much flour, too much starch, too much, of just all that bad stuff, okay? In order to lose weight, first thing you need to do is to control your diet, okay? And the only way you can get 100% control of your diet is by shopping for your own food and then cooking it with your own hands, okay? Don't leave it up to your wife. Don't leave it up to your mother. Don't leave it up to a, a cook that you pay at a restaurant. Don't leave it up to anyone else, okay? Trust no one with your food but you. If you don't know how to cook, well, guess what? I'm here to teach you, okay? So follow me along in the next few videos. I'm going to show you very simple ingredients, so very simple dishes that anybody can prepare. I'm not a great cook personally. I'm not a chef, but I know how to prepare food. And at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I feel great. I, I like the, that I, I can accomplish at least one thing in, in my day, which is cooking my own meals, okay? And you should get in the habit as well of that, okay? So, uh, in summary, yeah, no more eating out. Go to your local supermarket every day and uh, yeah, cook your own meals, all right? That's the first step that you need to take. And uh, yeah, go to the gym, train, but that's not necessary for now, okay? Get this habit going first. And we'll talk about those other things uh, in other videos, okay? So that's all I have to say for now. You have some homework to do. Get to work. My name is Justin. Thanks for watching and bye!